All right, whenever you're ready. There is something very valuable to the nation that helps it grow. This thing can be spread out all over, but some areas only get a crumb of it, while other areas get a whole piece. What am I referring to? Education. I believe the government should invest more money into the education system because it is an investment toward America's future. Education doesn't affect one person or one race. It affects the majority of Americans. It affects all Americans. And right now, everybody in this room is pursuing an education. And while there, we all have different reasons, there is one common reason, and it is to better our future and to gain more knowledge. I will be speaking about government spending and how it affects the education system and how can we prevent these negative effects and how to make it better. So students are like flowers and when flowers don't grow, it is best to see why they stop growing. And so there's always something missing and you could usually find the answer at the root of the flower. And so the root of this issue is in the government. In 2018, the government spent $121 billion on education and it spent $146 billion on buying weapons. And in addition to that, they spent $49 billion on defense research, which is defense, which is according to, this information is according to the federal investment from 1962 to 2018. And more money is being spent on defense than education. And I think that it is not right because education is more valuable because the more educated people are, the less wars they'll be. And now that you have seen the root of the plant, it is important to acknowledge the side effects. I have experienced firsthand what it's like to attend school that is well-funded and what it's like to attend one that isn't well-funded. My elementary school had teachers, textbooks, and technology so we can get through the day. My high school did not. We had to print out our own worksheets, and if we did have textbooks for that class, they were decades old, so the information was outdated. And there weren't always enough teachers. Recently, there was a strike in my city, Chicago. Uh, the teachers union strike wanted smaller class sizes, nurses, social workers, and education equality. Uh, this is also cited in Will 2019. I saw my elementary school teachers out in the cold and in the rain because they were caring about their students because they wanted to better the students' education. They wanted to improve lives. Not having a nurse is a serious issue because kids run around all the time and they get hurt. And I remember I got injured in gym class and we didn't have a nurse. So I got sent to the office and they cleaned my wound, which didn't really help because they didn't notice there was asphalt in my knee. And then um, it was actually a teacher that noticed that my ankle was sprained when the office said, oh, you're fine, just walk it off. This could have been avoided if there, was an, if there was a nurse in the building. We did have a nurse, but she was only there once a week and it wasn't always the same day. And that is one of the reasons why the teachers went on strike, to get better resources for their students. And according to the Advocate 2017, there are 18 reasons the school system is failing and the teacher strike addressed four of the issues. The schools are overcrowded. Uh, there's not enough school funding, education inequality, 
and there are not enough resources for students. Students are struggling in classes because they aren't getting the help they need because there's one teacher to 30 or 40 students and that's not very manageable, especially when they're at a younger age and they need more attention. And there's also a lack of resources for students and if they don't have the resources they need, they can't grow. So like flowers, they need sunlight and water, but the students in America aren't receiving it all. So students need to be more supported so that they can blossom. The education system needs more nurses, social workers, because physical, mental, and emotional health are important. Teachers also need more resources for their students because they come from many different backgrounds. In 2017, there were 50.6 million students enrolled in public schools, according to the National Center for Education Statistics 2018. This is a large number of minds filled with different ideas. Those are America's future leaders. They need to get a great education, and if it weren't for my teachers, I most likely wouldn't be in college because my teachers were my support system because we didn't have nurses or counselors, so they acted as my nurse and counselor. I still remember sitting in my home, talking with my teacher, and venting to him because we didn't have a social worker, so teachers were the ones we talked to. And talking to my teacher really helped, and it shows that teachers care a lot about their students. Here are some pictures from the Chicago Teachers Union strike. So the picture on my right, the, my bottom right, is a, a sea of red. And it's because the teachers union wears red. And so those were all the teachers. And then the one above it, the heart, is a message that some of my elementary school teachers wrote to their current students and they described how they miss being in the classroom with their students but they were also out there to help improve their students education and so that they can get the resources they need and then the bottom um, the bottom one in the middle is the long line of supporters and teachers that were out in the streets of downtown getting attention and being video recorded so that they can be heard so that there can finally be change and so the education system can improve and then the top left corner is a letter written by one of the spanish teachers telling the students that they hope that they can learn the lesson of democracy and that they are missed a lot and that they hope to return to class <coughs> because while teachers are on strike students are out of class and they're not learning but they're not in class because they're trying to make their classes better and they're trying to get the resources they need and once the students get all the resources they need they will begin to blossom so the government needs to invest more into the lives of students because students are the future of America. Currently, more money is being spent on defense than students, and we're not even in a war. But students will always be the future of America. And so we have to think, what are the resources our students are lacking, and how can we help them to, to do great and so they can blossom? Thank you for your time and attention. Questions? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Summer, you can go ahead up there. Evan, what's the time? 9.20.